Hello, and welcome to another video of Methuklasan. In this video, we will perform t-test dependent using Jamovi. The dependent t-test or paired samples t-test compares the means between two related groups on the same continuous, dependent variable. We must check these assumptions before using the test. First, your dependent variable should be measured on a continuous scale. Second, your independent variable should consist of two categorical, related groups, or matched pairs. Third, there should be no significant outliers. And fourth, the distribution of the differences in the dependent variable between the two related groups should be approximately normally distributed. Here's an example. Suppose a researcher would like to know whether the new music therapy he's proposing can improve the listener's mood. So, he gave the respondents the mood test and let them listen to the music for 10 minutes. After listening to the music, the respondents answered the mood test again. The independent variable in this example is the type of measurement, before and after. At the same time, the dependent variable is the respondent's mood test scores. Our null hypothesis states that there is no significant difference between the average mood scores of the respondents before and after listening to the new music. In Jamovi, the data set per group should be encoded per column. It could be seen from the data view that we have 20 respondents. Remember that in t-test dependent, the data are always paired, so the sample sizes for the two groups are always equal. The first assumption says we must check for outliers, so go to Analyses, Exploration, and Descriptives, and drag the two variables in the Paired Variables box. Select the Plots drop-down panel and choose Box Plot. See the figures in the Results window. There are no identified outliers in the two box plots because there are labeled points beyond the main plots. If there are outliers, there will be points that look like this. Here, it is labeled 1 because the outlier is in row 1 within the specified variable. Next is to test the normality of the differences between the two sets of scores. To do this, we need to create a column showing the difference between the two sets of scores. In Jamovi, go to the data menu and select the Compute icon. A third column will appear, and we will rename it Difference. In the formula bar, we will get the difference between the two columns by typing, after minus before. Remember to type the names of the columns as is so that the formula will work. Now, we have the difference column. 2 is the difference when you subtract 6 from 9, and it's the same for the rest of the rows. Note that even if you have interchanged the two columns in the formula, it will not affect the test of normality. So if you type before minus after in the formula bar, you can still proceed with the test. To test the normality, go to Analyses, Exploration, and Descriptives. Transfer the difference variable in the, the Variables box. Look for the Statistics drop-down panel and select Shapiro-Wilk under the Normality option. In the descriptives table, the Shapiro-Wilk p-value is 0.373, greater than 5% or 0.05, so the distribution for the difference is normal. Note that if the Shapiro-Wilk p-value is less than 0.05, the distribution is not normal. Now that we have met all the assumptions, we will conduct the t-test dependent. Go to Analyses, T-Tests, and Paired Samples T-Test.
transfer the before and after columns in the paired variables box. You can select additional statistics like mean difference and descriptives so that you can explore the data further. You can also select the type of test. In this case, we will choose the two-tailed test, so we will leave the shaded first circle under the hypothesis option. In the descriptives table, the after measurement has a higher mean than the before. But is this statistically significant? Let's find out in the paired samples t-test table. Looking at the p-value, we can see that 0.012 is less than 0.05 or a 5% significance level. This means that we will reject the null hypothesis. So, there is a significant difference between the average mood scores of the respondents before and after listening to the new music. We can now conclude that the new music therapy helped improve the mood of the respondents.